Hi, Victor from Marketing here. Today we wanted to start a new format, the Ultra Basics, maybe for your grandparents. You know, some useful information for those who have zero experience with networking, tech, all the stuff that the digital veterans might not even consider to mention. Why? Well, from my own experience, this stuff can be useful to share among your family. Maybe you're setting up a Wi-Fi for your grandparents, like I said. Or uh, maybe your significant other is starting to ask questions. Or perhaps you have clients from another planet and you, you don't have the time to explain everything from the grounds up. Either way, the Ultra Basics series are for the uninitiated mostly. And uh, as a marketing guy, I think I might be learning some stuff along the way as well. So please, don't roast me too hard, uh, master system administrators. And I say this with zero irony. I respect the knowledge you have, but this video is not for you. However, your suggestions and comments are appreciated as always. Today's topic is the Wi-Fi signal. So many weird setups. So many misconceptions. We've seen routers in uh, metal boxes or uh, glued to the back of a TV or on a microwave. Uh, but hey, Victor, aren't microwaves shielded? Sure, as they should be. However, routers can be very, very sensitive. Microwaves can and will jam up the nearby frequency spectrum enough for you to notice. And uh, it has been known for years. But the top of the microwave is such a nice storage surface. Almost irresistible. So, what is the correct solution? Where do you put the router? There was a time when everyone kept hiding their routers. And no wonder, most of them looked bad. Like really bad. But nowadays, you can get some stylish stuff like the elegant chateau. Or the futuristic audience. So, bring it out in the open, somewhere in the central room. Routers usually broadcast the signal all around, even if the antennas look pointy to one of the sides. So, putting it in the corner isn't too efficient. And uh, don't put it on the floor either. Try a table instead, or a nice high shelf. Hmm? However, do not stick it in between the books, as you don't want your electronics to overheat. If you're looking at an office space with cubicles and obstacles, you might want to put the router on the ceiling. But usually, this type of connectivity would be managed by professionals, so let's put that aside for now. To sum up, bring your router out in the open. Don't hide it behind stuff, especially other electronics. And remember, Wi-Fi signal at its core is a bunch of low-power radio waves. They are safe, non-ionizing. Uh, compared to mobile phones, uh, one year of Wi-Fi exposure can be compared to 20-minute phone call on the mobile, you know? So uh, Wi-Fi radio waves, they can get absorbed, they can get reflected, they bounce around, they can pass through stuff. Uh, but it all depends on the material. Wood or drywalls, not a problem. Uh, mirrors, fish tanks, uh, water pipes, not good. Uh, metal or thick concrete walls, that's bad. Concrete is thick, it's dense, and it can be reinforced with iron rods inside. So sometimes there's just nothing you can do. You might need an extra device in that room behind all the concrete. Even the newest routers like the Chateau can't break the laws of physics. But for most homes, this is not an issue, as long as you keep your router out there in the open. So please, don't hide it. That's all the time we have for today. Next time I will try to tell you about the different frequency spectrums. You've probably seen the 2.5 GHz networks and 5 GHz. Um, if not, no worries, I will tell you everything there is to know. And. Um, don't confuse 5 GHz with 5G, we are going to explore that, step by step. So thank you for watching and don't be shy to ask questions, because it's okay to not know something. Always stay curious and thank you.